let's talk about this finale. Now, did you always know that that's how the season would end? With the reveal of Armand and the murder of Lestat. Murder in quotes. Hey, Mark, should I open it up? You bet. Let them know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here you go. Naomi, very early on, we were talking about making this thing, and we're in the writer's room, and we're in pre-production. A very exciting thing happened. A lot of this had to do with uh, lumber, the cost of lumber, and COVID. Um, <laughs> oh. And we were writing scripts for the entire book, the whole enchilada. And there was this kind of like just lovely call that came from AMC, and it's like, hey, guys, let me ask you a question. Is there enough story in the first half of this book to stay in New Orleans for a season? And, you know, my first thing was... <laughs> he did put up a real fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because fuck it, man. Are you kidding me? Ah! <laughs> um, so what we ended up doing was taking what was the first four and turning them into the first seven. <gasps> I know, oh. right? <laughs> and Naomi, we did that 50 days before we shot our, our, our first day. Oh, my God. My stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My stomach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot. Because, like, out there, folks, it's not that you can, like, hey, let's slide in something in between two and th- you literally... Every every break suddenly just changes. And it was, I think, to the benefit of the show. Mm-hmm. I think we made a better product because of the price of lumber and COVID. Because I think we were staring at the fact that we were not going to be able to do Europe in the same beautiful, detailed way that we were doing New Orleans. Mm-hmm. So suddenly a thing that I thought was probably, I think in my original pitch, 10 episodes, what we were aiming for was eight is now a 15-episode mm-hmm. book. Oh, okay. Was that the ending of my season one? It wasn't originally, but it, it became the ending. And, and right now, it's impossible for me, anyhow, to imagine that how we would have packed all of that into uh, one season. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. It feels natural. I mean, it doesn't feel rushed. Everything feels really earned. And there there's such a movement to that finale, right? Meaning all that planning and everything happening and kind of like Claudia becoming this mastermind. For me personally, that kind of episode, it's one for the people, you know, it's one for everybody else. <laughs> um, because, you know, you're doing twists and turns and you're you're, you're kind of doing it like a thriller. You know, my favorite scene in there is probably the one that stops action cold, which is the balcony scene. Mm. That monologue that Lestat has where he's, you know, essentially saying one more time, even though at that point he knows they're plotting to kill him. I love you, Louis. It's all from Anne's novel talking about her love of New Orleans. He's talking about New Orleans in words, but he's saying that, that's you, Louis. I'm going to miss this. I'm going to miss all these moments that we had Mm -hmm. together. And thinking that this is all from Louis's memory, looking back on that moment with Lestat, it's like even more gutting. Memory is a very, very huge part of this show. The tagline for this show should be memory is a monster. Mm -hmm. We're only on episode seven of 15. You only know half of it, maybe. 